as both teams come out of the dugout. Yeovil Town, of course, in their home strip, green and white stripes, green shorts and green socks, and Torquay in pink shirts, black shorts and black socks. So with him, as Maguire Drew gets us underway on New Year's Day, the first game of 2023. Picks out Lapsley, just on the halfway line. Now Donnellan making a run forward. He's that through. That's a lovely ball towards Evans. Shoot! And it's saved by Grant Smith down to his left-hand side. Here's to Silva. Now a chance. Block comes in from Jamie Record inside the box. Torquay having a bit of a spell now. Mark Cooper hoping to retain his unbeaten run as the overall town manager here at Hewish Park. Awkward header forward from Asa Hall. Chested down once again after the clearance from Worthington. Ball comes in and gets a, a shot in the Nasa Hall straight at Grant Smith. I actually think Jarvis might have had more time to take a touch and turn. Uh, on set pieces since Maguire drew and Andrews joined. It's into the box, headed away by Omar. Kept alive, or tried to be kept alive by Staunton. Worthington wins it back at the second attempt, though. Here's Staunton, they're going to have to start again with a more defensive line. Cross comes in from record, that's a good one. Wretches Everton can't connect with it, goes wide. Coming into the box. Out wide to Vern. Here's Asa Hall, cross comes in, headed away by Bevan. Now Jordan Maguire-Drew with a brilliant touch. Can they take advantage of this quick break? Here's Maguire-Drew, he's that through to Ben Richards Everton. Into the box and he slips at the crucial moment. And it's well defended in the end. He had time, he had space, but this slippery surface, just meant he couldn't even get a shot away. And a comedy of errors from both attacking players. That are up no in January. Here's Oliver Bore. He's that through to Maguire Drew. Takes a touch. He shoots and it's saved. A brilliant save. The fingertips of Mark Halstead. He connected with it well, Maguire Drew. And a lovely through ball from Oliver Bore. Here he is with the corner kick. Punched away by Halstead. Only as far as Worthington. Binding with Staunton. Again, Torquay defender slips. Here's Oliver Bore. He's going to shoot. Comes towards Halstead again. Absolutely right. Here's Maguire Drew again. Come on to come in. It's a looped one towards the far post and it goes wide. Some fans thought that was in. Morgan Williams tried to get ahead on it, but it went the wrong side of the post. Some support. Here's Staunton. Now Oliver Bore beats his man, turns. So exciting to watch. Goes out of play. Ricochets off the defender. They win possession back, though. Lovely ball from Staunton to find Malachi Linton. He's beaten Omar for pace this time. He's on the far side, though, and needs some support. He's by the corner flag. Back up to Oliver Bore. Now Worthington. Staunton. Shoots. And just into the side netting again. Maguire Drew. Now record. Getting a little bit more further forward. I haven't seen that too much in this second half. Here's Oliver Bore on the left-hand side this time. He's trying to get... Into the box, he's beaten his man, but can't do it the second attempt. He shoots, it's just wide again for Yeovil Town. Andrew Oliver, he connected with it well. He's having to do his shoelaces up. Again, just going all on his own. Got to Silva to his right, here's to Silva. Hit that through. It's a lovely chance for Evans, and it's wide. Kieran Evans causing Yeovil all sorts of problems. The ball just seemed to fall nicely in all the right areas for them. But Burn up against record now Evans from the edge of the box cuts inside shoots and it's a great save from Grant Smith down to his left hand side once again goes out for a corner kick here he is again out wide to record again they're just pushing Yeovil out they're forcing them to get in a more defensive line great touch from Alex Fisher and almost plays it through to Lawson Diaz but Bo Le Oliver Bore beats Asa Hall he's driving forward into the box to the low cross in towards goal and it's in Matt Worthington opens the score Goldstand. What a crucial goal that could be for Yeovil. With 10 minutes to play, it's Yeovil Town 1, Torquay United 0. Wow, what a Record is there, that's superb from Jamie Record. 
Now Josh Staunton to get it to the right end of the pitch. Here's Maguire Drew. Beats his man. He's held back. Here he goes forward. The referee plays advantage. Now Oluwabore. Can he finish it off? It's a great save from Halstead. And now Maguire Drew takes it onto his right foot. It's blocked. And again, oh. straight at Halstead. Really good. The Oval dugout frantically looking at their watches. It's not a great clearance. Here's Alex Fisher. Can he play it through to Oluwabore? Maguire Drew wants it too. That's a lovely ball. Maguire Drew for his first goal for Oval Town. And he wins it for the Clubbers. Jordan Maguire Drew finishes it off against Torquay United. And Oval Town will win this game. An important one on New Year's Day. And what a start for Mark Cooper in 2023. His landmark signing gets Yeovil underway. And it's Yeovil 2. Torquay United nil. What a brilliant finish from Jordan Maguire Drew. We've seen that pass in the first game in Boxing Day for Malachi Linton, and now we've seen him produce the goods. A brilliant little dink over the goalkeeper as he's through on goal. And said moments earlier about putting games to bed, and in that moment, we've absolutely done it. And I think that was the big thing for these two games, was getting drawn back into it by dropping points against against Torquay, and we've managed to bridge that gap here they are again though they've got an opportunity the flag goes up they think they've scored but the flag came up pretty quickly and Ben Richards Everton's very happy with the linesman for that one but it won't count I think Torquay have I think they 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 played well I think in this game it, you know there it is and that roar is the full-time whistle Job well done for Mark Cooper on New Year's Day. Two second half substitutions again worked wonders. The two late, late goals from Matt Worthington and Jordan Maguire Drew and Ian. On balance with the quality of the goals, they deserved it, didn't they? I think so, yeah. I think Torquay, you know, you know they, they, they played a brilliant game in that first half, particularly what, whether that was down to, you know, how we were playing going forward. That they, they probably can feel slightly hard done by him in moments but I think on the balance of the game over in this second half they made some great opportunities they got that first goal and then of course Torquay then have to chase the game and they've Yeovil have responded magnificently and managed to get that breathing space and get that second goal which is just exactly what supporters needed coming here this afternoon in front of a big crowd this is exactly what you know a, a, a great result looks like for the town and for the team. Well, punch it to the air from captain Josh Staunton after two second half goals from Matt Worthington with just 10 minutes to play and Jordan Maguire drew in added time, made sure that it was four points from a possible six against Gary Johnson's Torquay United and now they have some breathing space between them and the bottom four. We'll join the closing stages of Bristol Rovers but full time here at Hewish Park, Yeovil Town 2, Torquay United 0.